What's up guys, welcome back again, it's your boy yeah, Adam Slink, how are you guys doing? Firstly guys, I want to apologize, this video is coming really really late, in fact, I've been traveling, for the past 6 hours guys, I've been traveling, I think I really need to show you the place that I have been traveling to, so that you guys will understand exactly what I have been doing, let me show you guys. So guys, let's talk about Whiskey. In 2019, Whiskey promised, promised all his fans, including himself, that he's gonna get married in 2020. He wrote, next year I'm getting married. And this was posted 24th of December, 2019. So a consigned fan decided to call him out saying, today is the last Saturday of the year, Ayo. Now lie through your head. So it seems like this monetary spirit, this monetary fan, has been waiting patiently for Whiskey to make do of his promises, of his promise, sorry, of, of, of his promise to get married this year. Because it's 2019, Whiskey said he's going to get married this year. Maybe because, you know, Whiskey and Taylor Savage were so close end day of 2019 because that was the time they were performing doing all those kind of stuff maybe whiskey wanted to actually get down with tiwa savage but unfortunately now tiwa savage and whiskey are no more and tiwa savage apparently she's trying to get back her relationship and marriage with t bliss well i don't know how true that is but that is what we can see because they are spending a lot a lot of time together as a family with their own son so whiskey now is left alone well whiskey is with jada who has a who they have a son together zion so i don't know who whiskey want to get married to this year and uh just few days and the year is over so whiskey you promised us you're gonna get married in 2020 and 2020 is almost over so let us know if, if this marriage is still gonna work well people it's good people wish themselves good things it's good people just prophesy good things and getting married is, is definitely a good thing and whiskey honestly i thought i think that whiskey honestly seems uh, getting married to tiba savage because the time whiskey posted about this stuff was when he was actually in good terms with tiba savage but things just went sideways they were so good together but things went sideways so this fan was asking whiskey ah you told us that you're gonna get married in 20 20 then what is happening why are you not getting married now so please leave whiskey alone whiskey is still very young whiskey is not even up to he's 30 years old so very very still young and meanwhile this is what if nada said he laments about body odor she said sorry my plumber is killing me how do you tell someone they stink without hurting their feelings a certain plumber that comes to work in my apartment building always smells each time he comes here. It's so bad that the smell overpower my apartment and give me a sharp headache. I always have to open my window. The man is way older than me and I really don't know how best to tell him he smells without hurting his feelings. Bed is okay, but it's killing me. I was say, she said, This guy, our plumber smell is killing her. But let us just be frank. Sorry, those handwork people, carpenters, plumbers, bleak clearers, uh, electricians, and some of those uh, few ad and work people in, in Africa, majorly in Nigeria. Let's just be sincere. Majority of them do smell. Majority of them do smell. You will find out that it's just few that you see that yes, they actually take good care of the self. After going through that work, sorry, so much sweat, they still go home and not take their bath. They take their bath just once a day. And it's always in the evening. The next morning, they just wear their clothes, 
go out, sweating, 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 sweating all over, come back home again, then bathe and sleep. The next morning they wake up again, straight out and start working. That's just how their routine is usually, that's how they usually operate. So now guys, the question she's asking now, how do you tell somebody that she or he smells? Let us forget about her plumber. How best can you tell somebody that, man, guy, you this smell, or girl, you stink, without hurting that person's feeling? Or will you just relax and just allow the person to just do what he, he or she is doing, or, and you just try to try to withstand the smell to withstand the smell whenever he or she is around you or you just simply just ignore that person totally and try not to hang out with that person or maybe me i think that okay if i want to tell you that you smell i will want to do something about it i'll go to the shop get body spray get a roll on and say take guy or i bought this for you as a gift indirectly if i see after then you are not still using it i will go again and say okay i will also go to the shop buy same thing and say take guy by the time by the time i do it one full three of course as a guy you will start wondering or a girl why is this my friend keep buying me uh uh deodorants why 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 you keep buying me deodorant then i will not tell you that see guy you're old or bad you smell so guys well that's how i'm gonna do it though so tell me how you're gonna do it without hurting somebody telling somebody that see you smell without hurting them i want to know guys this is a really really serious topic so please if you have any idea on how to go about it let us know and meanwhile uh, this is what lagos state is saying lagos state they said intended couples must obtain clearance to hold wedding in lagos now so if you are looking to hold steady wedding in lagos if you are looking to wed in lagos you must now seek from clearance from the lagos state government they said the lagos state government has made it mandatory for prospective couples to obtain clearance from the state governor to hold wedding with 300 people in attendance that was setting in a notice by the state government on friday so it was stated in a notice at the state by the state government on friday so do you think it's a welcome development if you want to get married in lingo state now you will have to ask seek for clearance in order to welcome more than 300 capacity to your home please let us know let me know because uh for me you know, this old C-19 of a thing is something that we are all battling. Lots of people are worried about it. I don't know. Many people do not still believe that it exists. That's just a fact. Many people do not still believe that C-19 or, 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 or whatever they call it still exists. Meanwhile, guys, this is what a lady wrote on Twitter. She wrote, she said, a year ago today, I was pushing crates at Trader Joe's. Today, I'm a six-figure sex worker. So this lady, uh, she is a only fan star. Only fan is like a, it's a page that anybody can just decide to log into, open is or uh, you no, know, just selling sex, selling their body online and all this kind of stuff, posting all these kind of things. So now she's she's happy about it boasting about it that few a year ago she was in the shop working pushing crate but now she has more than six hundred thousand us dollar with with her while working as a sex worker in all the fun she has a page her page is there so a lot of people were like no man you do not you you cannot be so proud with this kind of stuff so I did not telling us that. Okay, let me ask. Let me ask it like this: Is it good for a sex worker to come out proudly to tell the world that, see, I am a sex worker, and be, and for that I am making so much money? 
let me say sex worker is a successful sex worker can a successful sex worker boast about he or i am single guys when you pursue money and it's not forthcoming stop and pursue marriage some women are hoping doors to your success i strongly disagree with that he said dear single guys when you pursue money and it's not forthcoming stop and pursue marriage some women are open doors to success well that is a really 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 strong statement and a lot of people see it differently honestly like myself i see there but um the fact is that when i but the person wrote this way is a she the person who wrote this to you is ah, actually has some sense because it said when you pursue pursue money and it's not forthcoming you know some people hustle genuinely they have this head they have everything all they just need is luck and people i keep hearing people say wedlock 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 i don't know i don't know if it exists or honestly i don't know if it exists but i've heard so many story good good story but me i do not know if it exists i don't believe in it so sorry guys i don't believe in it i know most of you do believe in it believe in marriage first don't waste your time just get married but well just leave your comment guys but me so this is what the lady wrote she said she regretted sometimes she regrets marry her own husband she said sometimes i feel like i made a big mistake marrying this man i mean how can your poor little baby be crying and you just lay there unmoved by a distress not even an atom of remorse or pity i'm sorry is this how men are or am i just unlucky i know it's probably too late for me already but is there a way to truly and fully discover a person's behavior before saying i do someone else might learn from it so she's lamenting that her husband don't pick up their baby whenever the baby is crying simple if you think that your husband don't pick up your baby whenever he's crying carry that baby wake your husband or your man get up by that he gets up give him the baby and see what he's going to do first aim to carry the baby Maybe she should try that because I've seen women, I, try, I, see, I see my friends, they will be at home and we'll be discussing their wife. Free West Deep, my guy Free West Deep, I visited him on Christmas Day and we were eating and the, the, the baby was crying and the wife carried that baby and gave that baby to him and he carried him. No big deal. So I think women who are complaining that their husband don't carry their child i think you should enforce it on that man say see you must carry this baby oh. when he's sleeping at night wake him up if you know fully well that uh he has he, he has not been busy throughout the day you no know, wake him up but if you know he has been really really busy need to sleep then you should assist him a little bit but if you think that you are way tired of the of his behavior wake him up to carry the baby there's nothing wrong with that so uh her coming out to say sometimes she regret marrying us but that is not called for why not try to enforce that behavior on your husband and see what will happen so guys to end this video rapper mcmill says he is saying that he's uh he has had enough of staying in america he wrote he said i want to buy a property in ghana where do i start a nice house i need to feel that experience with my family as another option in life i don't want to dedicate my own life to the american lifestyle i've been living the horse has too stuck against us it feels like so he said they want to move to ghana that he wants to express that africa love know that africa experience about life so please if you have any connection to gay rapper mcmill try as much as possible to reach out to him and get him a very fine exclusive house for him to experience that kind of love and happiness no all this kind of stuff i remember thank you guys for watching watch out for my next video like i've promised i'm still gonna drop my two videos so make sure you support